I'm standing on the corner of 3rd and Broadway. This is just on the edge of Kansas City's River Market. While crews were building the new Buck O'Neill Bridge, archaeologists found pieces of Kansas City's history that tell the stories of the immigrants who built it. Years of digging, sifting, and organizing paid off for archaeologists looking for lost parts of history. It's a really exciting time because you're, you're finding stuff that has, hasn't been touched by other people for, in this case, 120 years. Andrew Gottsfield is the cultural resources manager for Burns and McDonald. His team was on site when they found evidence of an old hotel and the burned remains of an immigrant's home. There was a whole shanty community that lived down in the bottoms called uh, the Patch. And then there was a bunch of these shanties that were built along the bluffs, and this was one of them. Kansas City was looking to expand Third Street. William H. Tinder made headlines for his fight against the city. Tinder said he wouldn't leave his home of almost 20 years. That happened to be in the path of a new road. Gottsfield says their research showed the city fined him $100 and burned down his home. This area was a marginal community on the edge of the red light district, the edge of this shanty encampment. These were laborers. These were the people that actually built and constructed Kansas City during a boom time. Uh, we're giving voice to these people. It's an incredible feeling to be able to hold a piece of history in your hand. Krista Rubweski is in charge of logging the pieces of these residents' stories. It's one of the earliest types of coins uh, minted by the United States. This here is a uh, amber glass uh, ink bottle. In an area of town where its residents' lives were not widely shared, this is their time to be heard. We're trying to piece back together the story. Oh, that's kind of the, the payoff for this whole job, is it gives voice to people that, you know, have been forgotten by history. With only fragments of their past, future generations are hoping to tell the full story.